Hello everyone, my name is Claudia Torres and this is your study guide for the test. Okay, so how to accept an invitation? Well, here you will find a conversation between Matt and John. Okay, so but I want you to look at this highlighted expression here. Okay, sure I'll be there. Okay, so now I'm gonna role play the conversation. So, do you want to play soccer tonight? That sounds great. What time? It's at 7 p.m. I'll meet you at the soccer field. Sure, I'll be there. See you. See you later. Okay, so if you don't wanna say sure, I'll be there, you can also use these expressions in the orange box. So you can say sure, I'd love to, or yes, that's a great idea. Or yes, I'm free. Okay, I'm free means that you don't have anything to do at that time, so you can go. Or you can say, I think I can. I let you know. So this one is it. It's when you're not sure at all, but you will tell the person later if you can. Okay. So here I let you know tomorrow. Now, how to decline an invitation? Decline an invitation is when you say no, okay? So you cannot go. So here in the conversation, Vanessa and Natalie. So Vanessa says, uh, hi, Natalie, how are you? I'm very well. It's nice to see you. Would you like to come to a party on Saturday? I'd love to, but I'm busy on Saturdays. No problem. Have a nice day. See you. Okay, so here in the highlighted expression, you, you say, I'd love to, I would love to, but I'm busy on Saturdays. So this is a very polite expression okay, to use. You can also use these expressions here. So you can say, thanks, but I'm not feeling well. So if you're sick. Uh, or, I'm sorry, but I have to work. Or, I'm sorry, I can't. I'm busy that day. Maybe next time. I wish I could, but I have to study. Or, you're going to say, I'm afraid I can't make it. Okay, I'm afraid I cannot go. I can't make it means I can't go. Okay, so here we have another way to decline an invitation, to say no. Remember, decline, say no. So here we have a cartoon. And then the man says, hey, how are you? Not bad, and you? I'm fine. Let's have lunch together. Oh, yummy, mm, delicious, right? But I'm afraid I can't make it. So you rem do you remember? I can't make it. I cannot go. Why? I'm not feeling well. Right? So maybe she's sick. I'm sorry to hear that. Maybe next time. Okay, so you see this? Uh, it's a very polite way to say no. I cannot go. Okay, so now we're going to talk about uh, some words to describe people's appearance. And these words are to, to talk about hair, okay? So for example, in the first picture, we have curly hair. So she has curly hair. Now in the second picture, she has straight hair, right? A straight hair, like my hair. So straight, straight hair. Now, the last picture has wavy hair, wavy hair. So now here we're going to continue talking about hair, but this time we're going to talk about color. So in the first picture, this woman here, yeah, she has black hair, black hair. The second person has red hair or ginger hair. Yeah, ginger hair is it's more like a, an, an expression that they have, right? But the color is red, red hair. 
And then we have brown hair, brown hair. And the last one is blonde hair. So blonde hair, it's like yellowish. So it's blonde hair. Okay, so now here we're going to talk about facial hair. Yeah, mostly men have facial hair, like mustache and beard. Okay, mustache and beard. Okay, so to describe people, we can also talk about clothes. For example, if I'm talking about, um, about me, Okay, I can say I am wearing, I am wearing, and then I can say, um, for example, in this picture, we have high heels. High heels is a kind of uh, shoes, yeah, and they have a very, a very tall heel here. This is the heel, so high heels. Then we have shoes, shoes, jacket jacket, dress, dress, t-shirt, t-shirt, now boots, boots, hoodie, hoodie, socks, socks, classes, classes. So I am wearing uh, glasses or I am wearing shoes I am wearing a t-shirt I am wearing a dress right and here we continue right so I am wearing a hat right because it's only one a hat I am wearing a hat I am wearing a skirt I am wearing flip-flops Right? Plural. Then I am wearing jeans. I am wearing a sweater. I am wearing a cap. Now, if I am talking about he, she, uh, I use is. So she is wearing a skirt. He is wearing jeans. So now here we're going to talk about the body build or body complexion. So we can talk um, about thin people like this man here. So he is thin. She is slim. She is chubby. Now we say chubby to avoid saying fat. Because if you say fat, it's going to be unpolite. So it's, it's not going to be polite. It's going to be a little bit rude. So it's not going to be good. So it's better to say chubby. Okay, so we have, let's repeat. Thin, slim, chubby. To describe people, we can also say how tall a person is so we can say that and um, that person is short so we can say he is short he is medium height medium height means that it's not too short it's not too tall so it's like in between right and we can also say that somebody is tall Okay, so number one is short, number two is medium height, and number three is tall. Okay, we can also talk about personality. So when we talk about personality, we can also describe people. So we can say, for example, in the first picture, uh, she is intelligent, or we can also say she is clever, she is smart, Right, because she knows a lot about something, or because she, yeah, um, she's very smart, right? Okay. Now number two. Number two is kind. So when someone is kind, uh, is someone who is nice to other people. 
Okay, it's someone who be behaves well. So it's a good person. A good person is a kind person. Uh, someone who is compassionate with others. Nice to other people. Funny. So as you can see in the picture, this woman is uh, singing with her mop. So it's it's it makes you uh, laugh. Ha ha ha. So she is the funny. And the last one is bad tempered. Okay, so this little girl here is crying and yelling, and so she's angry. So she is bad tempered. Do you know someone who is bad tempered? Okay, so this is an example of how to describe people, but this one is with sentences. Okay, so she's my sister Mary. Mary is thin and tall. Remember, thin, okay, and tall. Mary is wearing black pants and a red blouse. So we're talking about clothes. She's wearing high heels, high heels, the shoes. Okay. Okay, so he, here we have Diana. She's my cousin Diana. Diana is slim and medium height. She is blonde. Diana is wearing a white dress and boots. So the dress is what she's wearing and the boots are, are the shoes, right? Now she's a slim, slim, right? Because she's not too thin, she's not um, chubby, so she is slim. Now she's blonde, as you can see, um, her, her hair is color like yellow, so it's blonde, so she is blonde. Okay, and now we have Mark. So this is my brother Mark. Mark has red hair and freckles on his face. He's short and he is wearing an orange t-shirt. Okay, so red hair, remember, is the color of his hair, freckles. Freckles are these small dots over his face. Now, he's short, okay, so that's his height, short. Uh, he's wearing an orange t-shirt. This is the orange t-shirt, the clothes. Okay, so now we're going to talk about the parts of the house. And this part of the house is the kitchen. Okay, so in the kitchen you can find cabinets, right? You can find cabinets. So in the cabinets you put many things, right? For example, here you put the dishes. This is a cup, right? Now, you also have the microwave or microwave oven. And here uh, in the microwave oven, you put food inside to heat uh, the food up, to make it warm. And then we have the stove. So we cook on the stove. And here you have um, a jug. A jug is a container where you can store juice or any other liquid. And then here we have a spoon, okay, spoon. So you put food into the spoon. Now let's talk about the living room. Okay, so in the living room, we can find the television or TV. This is an armchair. This is a coffee table. This is the sofa. You can say couch. And here you can find cushions. Okay. And here you will find the shelves. In the shelves you can storage things, as you can see, books, okay, and other things. Now in the bedroom we can find the bed, right? So we can also find pillows where we rest our heads, our heads. Yeah, and also a lamp, the nightstand table, slippers, the shelf, 
and a window. Okay, so this is the bedroom. Okay, so now here we're going to talk about some vocabulary that you can use to talk about birthday. So, for example, here, for my next birthday, I will buy a delicious cake. So, we have a picture of a cake, right? So, I will buy a delicious cake to share with my family and friends. Uh, to share because uh, you have the cake uh, and you give it to your family and friends, okay? Now, you can also talk about candles. So the candles are, are these ones. So you light the candles, right? And Okay, so and candles to blow out when making my wishes, right? Blow out. So remember, when you make wishes, you blow out the candles. Soplas las velas. Blow out the candles. Okay. For my next birthday, I will buy colorful balloons to decorate my house. So as you can see in the pictures, uh, in the picture we have balloons. These are pop purple balloons, colorful because they, the colors are bright, okay? So remember, we're using will because we're talking about my next birthday, future, right? So for example, here, this picture is a picture of streamers, okay? So you use streamers to decorate your house when you have a birthday party. Okay, and this one, happy birthday, is a banner. Okay, so usually you have this banner to let everyone know what's the celebration about. So I will buy streamers and a happy birthday banner to decorate my house. For my next birthday, I will buy plastic forks, spoons, and plates to serve the cake so remember we use forks and spoons to handle food and we need the plate to put the food on right also for my next birthday i will buy party hats for everyone to wear so this is a picture of uh, peri hats, okay. Peri hats usually people wear the, the peri hats and they have like uh, something to attach, okay, on your on your on your head. So I will future, right, and then buy the verb in the main form. You don't change the verb. So I will buy, and then the object party hats. Okay, so, but now you're wondering how to talk about your favorite TV show. Okay, so you can use this template to talk about your own favorite TV program, okay? So, for example, here, I love watching, and I can say The Walking Dead, okay? I love watching The Walking Dead, but you can say um, any other TV program, okay, that you like, or it's your favorite. And then here you explain, okay, so I love watching The Walking Dead because it's entertaining, funny, interesting, scary, addictive. Addictive is like you can't stop watching, right? Funny, it makes you laugh entertaining yeah you you want to keep uh, watching it right because you like it a lot i and okay so now in the next sentence and i enjoy watching so you have to talk about what kind of program is this if it's a sports comedy drama yes if it's a series if it's about documentaries or if it's about a soap opera okay so for example the walking dead 
I would say that it's a series, right? So, and I enjoy watching series, right? So, uh, with my family, I usually watch it on, and then you have to say which day of the week you watch it. For example, I usually watch it on weekends, weekends, Saturday and Sunday. But it's up to you. Okay, so now let's talk about errands. But what are errands? Errands are like short um, journeys. Okay, so let's say that you uh, go out to another place, usually because you have to um, take or pick up something or something uh, or something that you have to do. But it's, it's not for fun. Okay, for example, when you go to the bank, let's say that you need to deposit money or you need to cash a check or something like that, that's an errand. Or for example, if you need to pay your cell phone bill, right? So that's another errand. Usually you may have to do a lineup. Okay, so let's, let's say that you did some errands last Saturday, okay? So here we're gonna practice some vocabulary. So first, I went to the bank to cash a check. Okay. So remember, going to the bank, it's one errand. After that, okay, I went to the postal office to send a package. Yeah, the postal office, remember, is where the mail, um, where the mail is collected. Right now next okay so next means after that okay so the next activity next i paid my cell phone bill at the mall okay and then i borrowed some books from the library so when you go to the library and you ask the person to give you a book okay so and remember, the library, you borrow because it's free. Okay? You borrow a book. Lastly, I went to the supermarket, grocery store, convenience store, it's up to you. And I bought some groceries. Remember, groceries is, for example, milk, uh, yogurt, uh, apples, fish, all you need, the food you need uh, to prepare, right, at home. So, groceries. Okay, so now, what if you, what, what if you win the lotto? So, the lotto is like the lottery, right? So, what would you do? And then, one answer could be, I will travel around the world. Right? I will travel, I will travel around the world. So if you win the lotto, you will travel around the world. So remember, I will, because it's something that may happen in the future, right? If I, it's a condition. Now, let's say that if you win the lotto, you will buy a house, okay? So you can say, if I win the lotto, I will buy a beautiful house for my family. Okay, I will. Now, if I win the lotto, I will pay all my debts. So your debts are what you have to pay, right? So for example, let's say that you have to pay the bank, for your credit cards, right? So that's a debt. Or if you have to pay for your house, that's another debt. Or the utilities, I mean the water, power, it, internet, you, okay? So you have to pay your debts. Okay, if I win the lotto, I will donate money to charity. So charity is for example, when you give money for a good cause, 
maybe a charity for people who have cancer. So you help people who have cancer with money. You provide money to those people or maybe you give money to be, um, poor people. So that's another kind of charity that you can do. Okay, so the activity I enjoyed the most when I was a child so in the picture, you can see a little girl riding a bike, right? So you can say, well, I enjoyed riding bikes when I was a child, right? I loved my bike because it was yellow, my favorite color, and it was very fast. I used to go around the neighborhood with my friends and race on our bikes. Mostly I enjoyed it because it was a chance for me to get out of the house and be a little bit independent. It was a lot of fun playing with friends who also had bikes. Okay. So here in this description, you can talk about the thing you liked, right? Remember everything past, past simple. I enjoyed, I loved, right? I used to, it was, right? And then you also have to talk about um, the activity, right? So why you like it? Because. Uh, what do you used to do, right? And why you enjoy it? Okay, so here we can talk about Christmas. Okay, so for my next Christmas, I will put up my Christmas decorations. So we need this phrasal verb, put up. Okay, so put up means that you're going to yeah, put the decoration, maybe you're going to decor your Christmas tree and you're, you're also going to decor the whole house. So put up my Christmas decorations. Okay. Not only put, put up. Okay, so for my next Christmas, I will sing Christmas carols. So Christmas carols are songs, especially for Christmas. Okay. Like, uh, I don't know, in Spanish, we have to tina, to turma. Okay, so those are Christmas carols. Also, for my next Christmas, I will prepare a Christmas dinner. So for Christmas dinner, some people have turkey, some other people have uh, meat, steak, beef. So it's up to you. But I will prepare a Christmas dinner. For my next Christmas, I will buy presents for my family. Okay, so here in the picture, you can find um, presents. These are presents. So I will buy presents for my family. Thanks for watching. I hope this material helps you to study for your next test. Okay.